One of the biggest counterfeiting cases I've seen in years just closed a chapter. Safe Chain Solutions was one of the companies accused by Gilead Sciences of selling counterfeit versions of their HIV medication. The total value of the medicine in this crime amongst all 150 plus defendants was nearly a quarter billion dollars. The Boyd brothers, who ran Safe Chain Solutions, have maintained their innocence, even writing an op-ed to the local paper to try and explain that they were as much victims of the counterfeiters as anyone. Well, this week, Safe Chain Solutions settled their lawsuit with Gilead Sciences. Safe Chain is prohibited from doing anything with any Gilead products, including importing, purchasing, selling, distributing, or marketing them, and prohibited from helping anyone else to do that either. They also agreed to be audited by an independent firm with the right to look at every sale record of their company annually for any evidence they violated the agreement they've just agreed to. If they violate the prohibition on trafficking Gilead products, they're liable for damages for 100 times the wholesale acquisition cost of the product. That means if they sell a $3,000 bottle of Gilead's HIV medication, they would be subject to a penalty of $300,000. Finally, the company and the Boyd brothers forfeit $2.7 million in cash investments and life insurance policies. Gilead Sciences and their outside counsel, Patterson Belknap, have really demonstrated an excellent model for fighting counterfeiters here, and it's worth looking at. If you look at other defendants like Lazaro Hernandez, Gilead and their outside counsel did the hard work of investigating and uncovering the crime, documenting the crime, and then levying very serious civil penalties using the trademark owner powers of the Lanham Act in their civil case. Then, and this is my favorite part, the lawyers at the Department of Justice followed behind them, vacuuming up all the evidence and charging the same defendants with criminal charges for endangering patients. And since Gilead Sciences seized quite a lot of internal documents from Safe Chain Solutions, this story may not be over. Now, Safe Chain and its founders have not been accused of any criminal acts to date. To see the original documents from the civil case that started it all, visit our website at safemedicines.org and look for fake HIV medications under our news tab. If you want to stay updated about new episodes, click the subscribe button. We do a new episode every week about counterfeit medicines. There's often 20 or more counterfeit medicine stories that happen every week in the U.S. that we don't have a chance to do a video about. To read about them, just go to our website and check out the story that has this week's date on it. Thanks, and see you at www.safemedicines.org.